All right. Uh, hi, everyone. I think I'm part of where we start to diverge a little bit from where we've been so far today. Uh, so I'm Professor Dr. Lambert. I'm an assistant professor at UC Berkeley. I've been there since 2019. So I'm the road uh, mechanical engineer that was snuck into the room. Uh, so I work on much more applied stuff. Uh, so at UC Berkeley, my lab primarily works on problems related to design. So you can think of things really small to huge, you know, airplanes and beyond. Uh, and we're really interested in questions related to how can we get computers to collaborate with people to design all sorts of things. And it's a really hard task, right, to get a computer that can essentially act as a co-designer with somebody. Um, so what you're seeing on the top right is an image of a computer-aided design software. So anything that needs to be manufactured using a variety of methods typically goes through this step. And we work on developing like new systems to uh, help engineers create virtually every kind of product that exists in our ecosystem. Um, along this path and trying to get people to collaborate with computers, we got really interested in learning how people behave. And so through this, we started a lot of collaborations with folks in cognitive neuroscience to understand people's brains while they're uh, working with computer-based agents. Uh, so this is a lot of fun. If you're interested in cognitive neuroscience, I'd love to also talk with you there. Um, and another really interesting question that I think comes up for a lot of our work is when we're interacting with these computational tools, how should we uh, interface with them? When should we trust them? You can imagine a doctor, if they're getting an automatic diagnosis from an AI-based tool, when do they accept that suggestion? When do they not uh, uh, accept it? And we also uh, study when and how people trust machine advice. Um, and another passion in our lab studies uh, design behavior and STEM education. So we work a lot to understand how teamwork in engineering design and science, how people collaborate, how they learn, uh, and new systems to help support that. So really happy to be here. Nice to meet some, uh, some new folks and happy to talk over more at lunch.